Okay, the next question. They say, find the equation of the tangent to f at the point of inflection. Well, gee, you just have to find the inflection point. And you just have to know that what you do is, if you've, we've got the derivative here, we just take the second derivative and let it equal zero, and we'll find the point of inflection. So here we go. We go 2 times minus 3. There's the first minus 6x plus 12. And then we make it equal 0. We add 6x, divide by 6. x is 2. Then we take 2, and we put it back into the original function. Put it back into the original function. You can see if you go 2 minus 1, that's 1. Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. And multiplied together, 1 squared uh, multiplied by 2, it's just 2. It looks like 2 and 2, you know, right in the middle there. There's 4, that's 0. It looks like it's in 2 and 2. And it is. So there we go. We've got the point of inflection. A lot of the work's being done here. Now, how do we find the equation of a tangent line? Well, that's what the um, derivative formula is for. It can tell you the, gra the gradient at any point along this curve. So the gradient at 2, we just put it into the derivative, which is minus 3x squared plus 12x minus 9. But instead of x, we put in 2. Minus 3 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 minus 9. Well, that's, that's minus 2 times 2 is 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Minus a 9 is minus 21. That's 24 minus 21. I think the gradient is 3 right there. So in this, uh, if this is the equation of the tangent line, the gradient a there must be three. Well, we've got the we're almost finished. Y equals three x plus b. If we put in x is two and y is two, we're going to figure out b. So x is two, y is two. We subtract six from two, we get y equals minus four. So the equation of the tangent line right there at 2, I even drew it in here, a nice little red dotted line here. That's what it would look like. The equation is 3x, g of x, equals 3x minus 4. Let's try the last question here. Can you find the acute angle theta formed between g, that red dotted line I just lived in? There's the angle theta right there. How did we find that? Wow, is there something weird here I'm missing? Because it seems awfully easy. Because if I want to find an angle, the tangent of the angle is the gradient. And the gradient of the line is 3. So if I go shift tan of the gradient, I'll get the angle every time. So shift tan of 3 gives me 71,57 degrees. Look, I did it. Shift tan of 3, 71.5, and I rounded it up to 5.7 degrees. Wow, that, you know, that's all stuff we were supposed to know, how to find, if you've got a gradient, how to find an angle. It was a really fair question, question eight. We were fair. It was really, really straightforward. No tricks or twists. We could have got all the marks. I hope you did. Okay.